Hi, I'm Dan Galpin, and we're introducing the Android GPU Inspector today on The Game Show. The Android GPU Inspector, or AGI, is a graphics profiling tool that allows you to see what's going on inside of the GPU of your Android device, so you can better understand graphics bottlenecks and optimize the performance of your 3D game or app. It has moved from closed preview to open beta, which means that you'll be able to start using it now. AGI shows a timeline of events, which includes information you may be used to seeing in our SysTrace profilers, such as CPU activity, memory usage, and per-process information alongside high-frequency GPU hardware counters, and if you are using Vulkan, GPU activity information. To get started with Android GPU Inspector, head on over to gpuinspector.dev to download the tool and check to see if your desktop and device are supported. I'm using a Pixel 4 running Android 11. AGI depends on having the Android Debug Bridge, or ADB, installed. If you've done any Android development on your machine, you'll likely have it already. Otherwise, you can get it from the SDK Manager within Android Studio, or you can download the standalone package. Before AGI begins tracing and profiling, it validates the device can properly support it by installing and running a small Vulkan-based Cube app. To profile the Vulkan Cube sample app we just saw, we search for it by package name and select the Launcher Activity main intent. The Trace Options section configures the kind of data we want to profile. The Select button lists the GPU counters. We'll select all of them and then turn on all of the rest of the options, and then we'll start our 5-second trace session. AGI will launch the activity and begin capturing. And we end up with this pretty trace. This is a top area shows our CPU utilization, and we're pretty much 100% on the small cores with this trivial app. That's followed by battery and memory usage. And then we start getting to GPU stuff. We can see the GPU queue and Vulkan events. Since this is the simplest possible app, our call to VKQ submit, which rotates and draws our cube, adds a simple render pass to our queue. Now, in this more complex example, we might see multiple render passes being processed as effects are layered on, along with triangle binning, preemption, and storing or loading depth, stencil, or color information to or from graphics memory. You can see how that frame activity ripples through many of the rest of the counters. Learning how to read these counters will help you diagnose many potential performance problems, some of them unique to the tile-based renderers common in mobile devices. You can tell if the app is GPU or CPU bound, if you have too much geometry, vertex or fragment shaders that are too heavy, triangles that should be called excessive overdraw, potentially oversized textures, and more. Now, we've been working with some of you during the AGI preview and are documenting the techniques we've used to rack up big performance wins. Subscribe to this channel as well as our blogs, and make sure to sign up for the quarterly game developer newsletter to keep up with our latest AGI insights, supported devices, and all of the rest of our game developer tooling. As always, thanks for your support in continuing to build incredible games. We provided links in the description to our documentation, the games newsletter, and more. I'm Dan Galpin for The Game Show. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe.